In this video, we're going to look at inserting and formatting shapes. So shapes are a wonderful thing that we can use inside Microsoft Word. So if we go into insert here, you'll notice we can insert pictures. These are local pictures, online pictures, and then shapes. So if you notice my cursor is in the second paragraph, I'm going to come in and I'm going to pick a very unique shape. Let's pick this arrow, for example. If you notice, my cursor has changed, and I'm going to insert that arrow right there. Now, if you notice, it went over the text. And the reason for this is because what I need to do is change the wrapping. If you notice, by default, in line with text, if you notice, it now puts it in line, it was set for in front of text. I can square it. And if you notice, the text is squared around the document. Type, the text is going to wrap around, through, similar, and then, of course, top, bottom, so that it's not in line with text, but sits in its own area. Then, finally, behind text. So I'll go ahead and square this up, just so we can continue with the things we can do inside here. Now, if you notice, I have some default shapes that I can apply, default colors, etc. If these work, wonderful. I can edit the shape picking different shapes. So if I wanted to change that shape, I can. Notice it keeps the existing formatting. I'm going to go back to our arrow, work with our arrow. I can increase the arrow size just by dragging the graphic. I can also change the direction of the arrow by grabbing the top and moving it around draw a text box. I can customize the fill. So if, if one of these defaults doesn't work for me, I can actually come in and change the fill color. Let me go grab something like that and have the fill color changed. I can change the outline. So I'll add a black outline to it. And if you notice in changing the outline, I can also change the weight of the outline as well. Shape effects, if I want to add some effects to the shape, I can do things like soften the edges. I can add a shadow. Notice the shadow of the shape here. So it gives it that pop off the page sort of feel. Notice when I'm not clicked on the graphic that the format shape, the drawing tools tab disappears. So other things I can do, I can change effects. I can align the text, top, middle, bottom. I can bring it forward, send it back, just like we saw in the text wrap. I can also position it on the page. So this is, as you can see, positioning it on the page. OK? Go ahead and undo that. So that's some basic shapes. Again, best way to learn all this stuff is to get in and play. Create those shapes. Take care.